all so welcome to my channel today's video i'm gonna reveal to you how to create carrier bag in a unique way now without further ado let's step into it so let's go over to uh your go back to this laser and change it to a2 which is normal size of bag so right now what we need to do is to go over and make it landscape you know let's you uh use a portrait rather so all we're gonna do is to go over and create locate your rectangle to create your box right in there to fit in so after that all you need to do is to plot your bag the side bar the below bar and the upper bar so let's squeeze it in just like so if you get to your destination right click to copy paste then you go ahead to the top one then pull it down just like so when you get to the destination you right click to copy paste automatically copy paste select the main uh, objects put the angle up just like so right click after that what you need to do is to trim them into the portion what you should get keyboard select the main body then you trim go ahead likewise this select and trim select that I should key select and trim good so go ahead with this trim hold shift can give us like the sidebar trim good so we are good to go so right now let's type uh you know information so it's gonna be love speaks speaks So right now all we need to do is to go over and just make this so let's go ahead and create a symbol of love so right now let's go over click on a rectangle do a rectangle then you right click on, on the object convert to curve so go ahead to click on your shift tool double click right here double click to appear the dot then that takes us to a straight you know line so right click on the line then you convert to curve so right now the maneuvering begins right here so pull this angle up up like this then you pull this angle just like this good so right now let's just put it in pull it pull this in just like so then you pull this angle up a bit to show some kind of love so right now make a copy slide to the other side when you get to the station you right click to copy paste automatically copy paste then you word that all up so right now what we need to do is to go over to your shape tool select this uh double click right here to add a knot then pull this angle in a bit to show a kind of swaggy love uh of objects so right now let's move in that all up select the dots just like so likewise this good so let's squeeze the beads good double click right here okay double click to and up here the dot can you see that going up there so all we need that to do is to just you know let's go ahead and just make a copy just like so then make a copy inward as well right from here then you select this to combine control help so let's change that to this color which is a uh, magenta Good. so right now let's go ahead and change this to magenta fully right click on the half line to on appear the half line so all we need to do right now is to go over to your gradient effect let's just uh, give it a gradient effect with your interactive field through so right now let's go ahead and change the beneath color so right now let's make it a bit darker color right there good so
so all we needed to do right now is to go ahead and create some kind of dot right here that will show some kind of effects that grid does so right now let's bitmap that convert to bitmap okay so let's go ahead and just you know all we need to do is to give it a gradient let's uh blow that cushion blow good 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 so as this right now let's just you know make it a bit smaller but clip that into the love then adjust okay so after that let's draw this closer make it uh, a little bit smaller then you twist it just like so position it so well just like so so right now all we need to do is to just you know make this change the form to futurity then you go ahead and pull in the love just like that so right now all we need to do is to just change this to magenta enter from here it control k to break it into pieces move it closer to each other so open it let's change it to darker color of this good use the speak a little bit then let's make it capital letter move it closer to that then let's reduce this a little bit position it upward which is the tracking of the love symbol Good. Great to bow on top of that. You need to be creative about this to so look well matured. Good. So, right now, let's position the logo to the middle reduce it a bit so after that group everything all up then you position it right there reduce it a little bit center it within that so right now all we need to do is uh, change the side by it uh, you know magenta then the top bar uh, magenta likewise beneath magenta good so make it a little bit bigger so let's go ahead and create you know some kind of effect beneath that so let's create an object just like so look at your ship to you know make it rounded up then change the color to this so right now make a copy reduce this previous one then you go ahead and make a copy make a copy of this too just like so good group everything all up so after that let's just reduce it a bit just like so go ahead and make a copy downward just like so mirror that so after that position is so well before back clipping so let's go ahead and group these two objects then you back clip into place 
hold the hot key select the object that you have clip then position it so well uh, just like so good good so right now let's type the website destination extract the content then you change it to grayscale right click locate frame type remove frame send to back make a copy of this to the other side of the back so after that change it to darker gray send to back so after that all you needed to do is to just group these two all up then make a copy of that change it to this color then you go ahead and pack clip all of this into place hold the alt key select the object release alt key then you adjust the pack clip the object creates a round circle right here Great scale so make a copy forward just like so then you create your rope locate you know brace your tool go ahead go ahead and try the line so let's change the rope to this color so after that it's 8 f12 the dollar pops up then you make it 16 good copy the whole thing to the back of the back then you send the rope to back by holding control speed, uh, page down your keyboard so after that adjust it to look real so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like so that other people can benefit from what i'm sharing right now See you in the next video. Bye for now.